Welcome back, Troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglies Guitar Show. It's time for that weekly mod collection demo shop update. Hey, we had a lot of fun last week when I bought one and had you guess, so I did it again. Can you successfully guess which one of the mod collection guitars I bought this week? Well, let's dive right in here. I, there were some glitches this week. During upload, some of the guitars started to disappear. Like, for example, on this page, th there was absolutely nothing. <laughs> And that was after some other things were updating. And then another glitch was when you purchased a guitar, it still stayed on the website. So other people were also purchasing it. So it's kind of up in the air. I guess maybe I didn't get the guitar I thought I bought. However, I did get a shipping confirmation. So usually, usually that means you got it. But that's definitely not the first time this glitch has happened. And occasionally people do get sent the wrong guitar. But I'm sure those cases are few and far between. But let's go ahead and take a look at all the cool different offerings that were put up for sale this week. Starting with the cool cucumber here. Frosty cucumber to be exact. It was offered at 3800 bucks. it's just a regular 335 figured, but it has this interesting green finish to it. It's kind of alien green, but you can see through it, so that's why they thought it looked like a cucumber. And then we've got a silver edge around it. Maybe not my favorite, but I do appreciate what they're doing here, especially with our silver pickup rings here to pull off the frosted vibes even more. Witch hat knobs, black plastics, it all works. They even pulled off a complete refinish of the body anyways. I'm not sure what the story is on the neck, if it was like that before or not, but hey, it's black. Last week we had Melted Penny, now we've got Copper Marble. When I saw the offering from last week, I just knew we would see that again. So again, kind of reminds me of the old George St. Pierre guitars, except for this is pretty tasteful. It reminds me of like camo, like a desert camo or maybe just like autumn leave camo. But then it's all completely blacked out here. We don't have any pole pieces exposed. I think I like this one a little bit better than the penny. But darn, still not doing the back. However, this is really nice wood grain. And I'm sure they do these things in batches. So maybe in a couple of weeks, we'll see a complete refin like that. Hey, Gibson guys, if you're watching, do the fretboard too. That would be awesome. Matching headstock. Just dip the entire thing in there. Sure, you'll have to scrape off the frets, but that'll be an interesting one. And along the same lines here, we have Rotten Chocolate Milk. I really don't know about this one. I don't get the chocolate milk vibes. It looks more like demons are infesting your cotton fields, but hey, okay. <laughs> it's either that or you've got a goth cow. Yeah, name this Finnish gothic cow. I like the P94 pickups that they've thrown in here. They mix the black with the chrome, straight up black headstock, and an all ebony back for only a slight premium. And then we have this what on earth monstrosity. It's everything. It's just one P90. It's billed as a Les Paul standard 60s. So it's like, what happened to our neck pickup? How on earth does it have a P90 in general? We've got a Nashville bridge. We've got a trapeze tailpiece. Okay. I mean, what happened to the studs? It's like, was this just a guitar that wasn't routed yet? I'm not sure. But then look at this. We've got kill switches. But instead of red buckethead style, it's black. This reminds me of like a, a pumpkin Halloween-y type guitar. And then you've got your headstock being pure black here. But then we move on to the back and it's like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is, is that a custom finish? I'm not sure. It's like a little bit darker in some areas, lighter in others. Like they tried to do a burst and it's just not coming through. But what on earth is this? A clear backplate showing weird stuff in here. My friends. That's a Gibson burst driver circuit. You know, Gibson burst driver from 2017. It's a weird guitar that had a built-in overdrive. And I'm not sure if it's any good or not. They didn't sell well. They're kind of collector's items now. And this was listed at a premium. This is one of the weirdest ones to show up. And then, hey, you guys know I love my 68 reissues that have the crown headstock. This one was only 4200 which is a fair price. You always got to be careful that it's actually the crown headstock reissue. Just in case you don't know, you can check out this video, but the earliest of the reissue 68 Les Pauls, due to a typo, had a crown instead of the Les Paul model silkscreen. So I always prefer the crown reissues rather than just the regular 68s. But then you go down here and it's like, okay, just regular gold top. Kind of a missed opportunity to do some sort of a custom finish. Whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> That's supposed to have P90 pickups. They routed it for humbuckers. I mean, that's pretty cool. Although I wish they would have just left it alone and did a cool custom finish, like make it green or something. I don't know. But then they're lying here. They're saying nylon saddles were added. No, they weren't. That's a spec for a 68 reissue. 
Next up, we have an Ebony Widow 339. The Widows have been done to death on the Les Paul Customs. However, you don't see it as often on a 330-esque style instrument. The binding is all covered over, as is our headstock, although we don't have binding here, so you don't really get the whole widowed effect that much. But it's kind of an interesting one with all those mods. I can just barely see, is that a transparent black? And then there's some flame under that. We're gonna have to adjust the contrast here so we can maybe be able to see that. Next up, we have the return of Dark Cherry Cola Top. This time though, on a 50s Les Paul standard. Looking pretty sharp there with our cream plastics. And oh, what a nice surprise, a black stinger on the back and tortoiseshell back plates. So it looks like it's going to be like a dark maroonish kind of purpley red thing going on here, but I love that side profile shot. Get a little bit of natural, a little bit of paint. And at a discount, that was a good deal. And now we've got Gold Rust. This is kind of a repeat of one we saw last week that just had red tips, but this time we don't have the red part, I guess. But you got the P94 pickup, so that makes it kind of interesting. It's a custom shot flying V, so it's got one of those primitive vibrolas on it. Big, giant, pointy head stock. Well, by pointy, I mean it's really rounded. And then what is going on here? Like, you see these kinds of tuners on acoustics that just doesn't work on electrics, in my opinion. But then we've got, like, a, a red sloppy stinger. Like, um... I'm very confused <laughs> what happened to this neck. Like it almost looks like, did it start red and they like buffed it through just on the edges or did they just do like a red pinstripe here? Not sure on that at all. If you adjust the brightness here, yeah, you can also see that's there on the top. And it's for sale at 5,000. Did it last? Must have sold. But oh, that's sad. Gibson's starting to take the pages down now. Next up, we have Indigo Metallic on a Les Paul Tribute. So that means they took one of the satin finished tributes and upgraded it to the gloss finish of a full-on studio. It looks like the paint would look pretty nice in person though. It goes from like a light blue to a very dark purple. Here's a good shot of how bright it can actually get. And hey, nice job spraying that. You can still read the serial number. And you've got the tortoise back plates. Kind of expensive for what it is, but hey, if that's the exact color you were looking for, it's nice. Next up, another 60th anniversary SG Custom as we've been seeing for a couple of weeks. Although this time they just swapped out our pick guard for Perloid and wow, that actually looks pretty darn good. I think they changed our tuners too. It has a certain vintage charm to it now. There's a 345 and Vintage Burst. Again, they play with our pick guard and a couple of pickup related things. They had one of those flying Vs in Antique Natural. They gave it one of those Vibrolas, you know, kind of giving it custom shop-like specs for being Gibson USA. Don't agree with the cream pickup rings though, not on this color. And then lastly, there's this abomination. They definitely have P94 pickups in a stockpile they're trying to use this week. That's cool, you don't see that too often. A clear plexiglass pick guard, so you can see all the wiring. I mean, it's got its own charm, but what I like about this one and hate at the same time is this long mineral streak deposit. I mean, it looks like a crack, right? But no, it's not. You got your clear knobs. I feel like they need a clear truss rod cover though to match that. And the back appears to have just been left alone. So kind of a nice showing from the mod collection this week. Leave your guess in the comments section of which one you think I purchased, and I'm gonna shoot for maybe Wednesday, Thursday for doing the review of that one. Because due to all the glitches, Gibson didn't get it shipped out right away. But now, my friends, let's check out the Gibson demo shop. There's not much to talk about this week. Lots of good players grade Les Paul standards. But hey, check this out. We haven't seen an L5 in the demo shop in a long time. I believe the last one was a sunburst. And before that, I really only think there's been one other L5 as far as I can remember. But this one in an ebony finish. You know, the supervisor's upset when they mess up an L5 because this is like custom order high end stuff here. And it just appears to be one little small thing right here and a couple of other finish inconsistencies. I mean, black finishes are tough to pull off perfectly. So, I mean, if you want one of these, I think they're what? Maybe 12,000 brand new? I don't know. They don't list public prices on these things, but this one is being offered at a little more than 9,000. Next up, we have one of the Les Paul accesses. So for this time, it's been completely blacked out, including your Floyd Rose and no covers. This really gives it such an evil vibe. I like it. Next, there was this J45. Nothing particularly special about this one, but a lot of the acoustics listed this week have these weird seam scratch crack type things going on. Like this is your seam line, but this is like a finished check that like stemmed from there. I don't know, that's kind of weird. But a lot of the acoustics this week had those. For example, here's a J45 with like, that almost looks like a repaired crack to me. But this is one of the ones with the walnut back inside, so they can be kind of cool to look at. 
This SG freaked me out because when I saw it, I was like, okay, regular SG standard. But then I got to this photo, I was like, whoa, taking the covers off of an SG custom just completely transforms it, especially in the ebony finish. That is a rockin' SG. There's a 59 reissue for 5200. This is one of their older reissues, but it looks like they swapped out the parts kind of like they did on the one that we documented when I bought one of these from the demo shop. It's got a nice wide flame top if that's what you're going for. And then I know we look at these almost every week, but they always have the most unique, interesting tops. It's an access custom stop bar variety, but that top, it works really well with that bright cherry finish. Like, but at the same time, it's dark. <laughs> it's... It's very saturated, I guess is the best way to put it. And you've got a P94 pickup right here. Told you they were trying to use those things up this week, but what I don't agree with are the pearl tip tuners. You could say it matches your custom emblem and your custom blocks, but I don't know. I think I'd just black those out. But that's a 2019 model. Hey, those are actually locking Grover tuners. That's nice. Apex head carve. But ah, they're giving you a Gibson USA case. As far as what sold quickly, there's a Les Paul custom and silver burst. Not a fan of cream on that. They did have one custom color this week at 2500 on the 70s Flying V. We've seen a couple of them similar in the mod collection. And then you don't see a 54 reissue every day in here. This one was offered at $37.99. But whoa, 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 whoa! I'm sorry guys, I missed it! It's got humbuckers! <laughs> that must have been a custom order they messed up. Or maybe they modified it even further. That's actually kind of cool. Now I understand why somebody bought it. Because to custom order that would at least, at least be like 5500 I bet. So Jeff Beck vibes just without the Jeff Beck finish. And to round out tonight's episode, the European demo shop. This was not a bad price on a 60s Les Paul standard, and it's got a pretty nice top. We had an obscure Epiphone USA Frontier, 2700 bucks. Honestly, I did not hear anybody talk about these. I really appreciate that there are USA made Epiphones, but Gibson has done such a great job at advertising Epiphone as a great beginner's brand, you know, sub $1,000 guitars. They make the bottom of the barrel, they make the mid-tier ones that are really nice lately. But now that they have the USA ones, I mean, you have to be a fan of the vintage originals, and then you also have to prefer brand new guitars. I mean, I'd be real curious how well these things are selling. Like the Epiphone casinos, all right, I get it. You've got the Beatles influence with stuff like that. But this is a beautiful, natural acoustic guitar. The 60 standard had an interesting reverse chevron flame. And then lastly, hey, they got one of the Firebird Customs. Not a bad price for that market. All right, troglodytes, I hope you enjoyed this week's recap. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you tomorrow on the next one. Take care.